In this video tutorial, we are going to design a ball valve uh, in the solid wax. So this assembly is used to control the fluid. It uses the mechanism of a ball which have a hole. If you want, if you want the assembly to uh, allow the flow of the fluid, then you uh, open this valve. It has a, a sphere and a hole, so it will allow the flow of the fluid. And if you want to close it, uh, the uh, other side of the sphere which does not have the hole it will resist the fluid and stop the fluid to flow so today we are going to design this assembly in the solid work so the first component i'm going to design is the housing so units are in inches uh, open the sketch on the front plane and select the midline first you have to start a midline from the origin and give the dimension to this line the dimension of this line is given as 2.5 then i just uh, uh, draw a random sketch and uh, after that we are going to give the dimension for it so start a line from this point and go vertical then horizontal then again vertical uh, at distance distance then like that like that and then you have to go uh, at this point we are just uh, adding a random sketch now i to track this point and make sure you close this sketch at this point so this is the sketch now we are going to add the dimensions so this dimension is given as 0 0.563 this dimension is given as 0 0.5 okay and here we have a angle of 60 and just draw a center line between them like that center line and add a you can add this mid relation or we can add a, the half angle between these two things so they they must have a symmetry now next thing we are going to add a distance from this point to this line and this distance is given as 0 0.256 okay and now define the remaining dimensions so from this point to this line this distance is given as 0 0.035 okay we have this distance 1.125 from, from this point to this line we have the dimension of 0 0.69 okay but this line dimension is this dimension is from this point and this line this is given as 0 0.035 okay like that and we we have this dimension given as 0 0.654 okay and try to find which dimension we did not define it yet so for this point and this point these two points are on the horizontal line so select this point and this point and add a relation between them horizontal and we have another dimension for this point and this line this dimension is given as 0.696 okay and this is also 0 0.5 <coughs> we can also add an equal relation between this line and this line the distance is same for both 
okay so the sketch is fully defined exit the sketch go to feature use the revolve command and we want to make the revolve around this line so this is our first feature let's go to the chamfer and i am going to add chamfers so for the distance it is 0 0.051 and select this edge and this edge exiting for the next feature i am going to open the sketch on, on the right side face this face and i am going to draw a polygon so for the polygon we are going to draw it from this region we are going to move like that and make this line by having a relation of horizontal and then just define the dimensions so the total distance between these two lines is given as 1.0 total okay exit the sketch now we are going to use the cut student cut and we want this cut to go up to surface this surface sorry we have to select the flip side to cut outer material which is not in the sketch so it will cut the outer material and same thing we want for the other side open the sketch on this face draw a polygon like that add a relation for this line a horizontal relation add a distance between these two lines and this is also 1.022 exit the sketch again use the extrude cut and for this time we want to make it uh, to this surface and flip side to cut so it means cut the outer material the material which is outside from the sketch area like that okay so this is done next we are going to add some fillets so select the fillet and for the radius of the fillet we are going to have uh, 0 0.0365 and we are going to select some edges so this this edge i am going to select then this edge and this edge so we make it like that next we are going to open the sketch on the top plane so select the top plane open the sketch on the top plane and select a circle in the region like that the dimension of this circle is given as 0 0.786 inches now i am going to draw uh, some random line so first i am going to draw a line and i'm going to make this line a construction line this line is just for our reference and other construction line or center line i am going to select it and draw it like that make sure you draw a vertical construction line now select the line tool and add a sketch so we selected a line tool draw a sketch like that and select again select the line command and draw a sketch like that now we have to add some dimensions so for this line from this point to this 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 circular uh, circular lines we want a dimension so i selected this line then press the shift on your keyboard and select this uh, circle so it will add a dimension like that so for this dimension you have to select the dimension and press the 
shift on your keyboard okay and then add a dimension between them 0 0.320 and we want a symmetry so that's why we add a half dimension of 0 0.32 divided by 2 like that and we just trim trim this line this line and we are going to trim this line like that okay now again uh, we have to add the dimensions for the for this uh, this thing so dimension between them is 0 0.32 add the symmetry between them add the half dimensions and same way now select this line and this line select this line press the shift and add the dimensions like that 0 0.164 okay so just extended this line drag it in our direction trim trim the lines which are not required so we we don't need it this line so this is our sketch let me just verify one thing from this point to this point we have okay mm -hmm. No starting from the line command select the line command and draw a line like that then move in the vertical direction make sure you have the uh, vertical direction and like that now select the trim tool we are going to use the trim to trim this area and this area so this will be the sketch we'll just define the dimensions so from this center point to this line we have the distance of 0.6 inches and distance the dimension of this line is 0.124 and from the center to this edge this edge we have a dimension of 0.154 okay like that And for this line, we we want this line and this line line. So we have to fully define it. Just see which relation we have to define. So it's adding a error, not this one. This line is blue, like that. So for this line. Select this line and this line and add a relation between them horizontal like that. So now you can see it's fully defined. So we are going to exit the sketch and go to the extrude feature and make it isometric. And now we have to define the dimension of for the extrusion. So we are going to select the blind and for this dimension it is 1.050. And we want it in that direction. Exit the sketch. Now we have this uh, this feature added. Next, we are going to add a reference plane. Select the reference plane, and for the first point, we are going to select the right plane. And for the distance of uh, uh, distance for this plane, it's given as one zero point one seven three. Okay, so uh, here we have a new sketching plane uh, because we are going to open the sketch on this plane now, like that. So, sketch, select this plane. We are going to draw, we are going to draw a sketch on this plane. So first I am going to draw a random sketch and then we are going to add the dimensions and relations to fully define it. Fully de uh, definition is very important. So you must have a good, it is a good practice and you must know how to fully define it. By adding the relations and uh, dimensions, we can fully define a sketch. So this dimension is given as 0 0.556 and from the upper edge 
to this line this dimension is given as 0 0.028 and the dimension of this line is given as 0 0.097 and for this line we have the dimension of 0.317 okay so now we have to define our positional dimension between them so this line it must uh, have on a vertical line with the reference of this origin so i selected these two points and i want them having a vertical relation so so you can see if you draw a line from this point to this point these two points will be coincident with the vertical line okay so you can see it's uh, fully defined now we exit the sketch and use the we use the uh, extrude to make this solid body so for this uh, extrusion for the direction one we are going to select the vertex and we are going to select this vertex this vertex so this will be extruded from the sketching plane uh, uh, up to this vertex okay so now we we define it next hide this plane open the sketching on this plane so for this plane i am going to draw a line like that starting from this vertex to this vertex and then closing it to the starting starting vertex add a dimension between them so this dimension is given as 0 0.113 okay so now we have to uh, extrude cut it and for the uh, for the extrusion we are going to use blind 0.113 so No, sorry we we have to make a cut so it can pass this uh, this uh, pass this whole body till this vertex like that so it's cutting the whole vertex okay So for the next step, again open the sketch on this on this surface, and this time we are going to draw. A, we are going to draw a circle coincident with this edge, like that, and we add a relation between this circle and this circle, having a relation of equal and then draw a center rectangle like that which is which is going through all of these bodies like that just add a random dimension 1.5 1.5 now basically what we want we want to cut cut the this area closed area but we don't want to cut this cylinder so that's why we added this uh, this circle so now this this area which is highlighted in a different color will be cut so move it to other direction and through all we want this part to go through all exit the sketch like that and just add a fillet of fillet select this edge and this fillet is 0 0.030 okay next again we are going to define a plane so go to plane and for the preference we are going to select the top plane and give the dimension to this plane this dimension is given as 0 0.70 okay next we have to make a sketch on this plane select this plane and open the sketch on this plane so now we are going to select a straight line center line slot 
we are going to make a slot so like that draw a slot randomly and now we are going to add the dimensions so from the position dimension from this point to this this origin this has the dimension of 0 0.5 oh and the total distance between these two lines is given as 0.435 and now we have to add the total distance between them so for the total distance from this uh, circular point this point to this point we are going to add it so move your mouse on this uh, uh, arc and select this point and for this for the second reference again move your mouse on this uh, this uh, arc and select this point so it will add a dimension between them 1.560 next we have to define another positional dimension we can define that by adding a relation so select this origin and this center of this slot and we want them a horizontal relationship between them so these two points must have a horizontal on a, on a line facing each other okay so exit the sketch sketch is fully defined and go to extrude base boss and for that we want that in the other direction and uh, we we want to make sure it must coincide with this this circular or this cylindrical face so we want it blind and the for this blind we have the point two four six in the other direction so it is passing through this cylindrical face exited now we are going to hide this plane so we can easily see all the views and at this point we can add some some fillets so select the fillet fillet command and the diameter is okay we are going to add the fillets for these edges all of these edges Can fill it. Keep adding the fillets uh, until you have uh, have no sharp edges. Okay, again use the fillet, and this time we are going to fill it with this. Okay. You can also add the fillets at the end of this design by it, but I just added it. Now we are going to make some holes, select the sketch, open the sketch on this plane, select the hole and the circle and to activate the center of this uh, circular edge just go here on this edge and it will activate its center. So draw a circle, again go to this edge, it will activate its center, draw a circle. So for this circle it has a dimension of 0 0.162 
and the both of the circles have the same dimension so we are going to add the relation press control on your keyboard select these two circles and add a relation of equal between them and exit the sketch now we want to make the cut use the extruded cut and for this one we are going to use it 0.2 so it will make the cut like that okay so now we are going to add an other feature uh, open the sketch on the front plane on the front plane we are going to draw a, we are going to draw a rectangle like that and going to add the dimension for this rectangle this length is 0 0.563 this length is 0 0.375 and define the positional dimension between them so from the outer edge to this length it has the dimension of 0.813 and the, the this line and this line have a relation of horizontal and add the fillet of 0 0.020 between all the corners press ok and exit the sketch and now we are going to extrude this sketch go to feature extrude this one and for this extrusion we have the depth of 0.656 like that now we are going to move to the next feature and for the next feature i am going to open the sketch on this top face and we are going to add a circle on this region and add the diameter so this diameter is 0.495 and we are going to make it make a cut so for the extruded cut go to extruded cut and for this depth we are going to select 1.21 in that direction exit it next we move to the next feature open the sketch and for this sketch we are going to open it on the front plane so for this sketch i am going to draw draw a sketch select the mid midpoint line from this point to we want it to go to this edge okay and then select the line and we just have to draw some lines so from this point we go at this point then here and then like that finish the lines on the outer edge and just close it so this is a random sketch now define the dimension so we solidify this sketch so dimension between them is 0.299 This dimension is given as 0.358. Okay. This dimension is given as why it's fully defined. This dimension I just had a wrong relation so you must know how to handle the relations and the dimensions <laughs> if there is an uh, unnecessary uh, relation or constraint is added uh, it will make make the error so next we have to define the so for this like that and this one is also 60 so 
for this line and this line this is 60 like that okay and dimension between these four lines also same 0.358 okay now define the distance between them it's 0.59 so now our sketch is fully defined we can also add the equal relation between this line and this line instead of having the dimensions so exit the sketch and now we use the uh, revolve cut we want to uh, revolve cut around this line exit it next we are going to make another revolve cut so open the sketch on the front plane so for this for this cut we are uh, we are making it for the for the ball the tangent this point and this point we have a ball circle and now define the dimensions between them so for this dimension i have to define it in that way i'm going to draw a line so like that and then select this line and this outer edge and these two point and edge has the dimension of 79.79 .79. okay and from this point to this point this one is 0.299 okay so exit the sketch again go to extrude cut and we want to revolve this cut around this line so it is adding a cut if you section view it you can see it we know we have a uh, space or location for the for the ball which is going to fix here okay so now we just add some threads and for the threads again i am going to use the revolve and uh, revolve cut i am not going to define it uh, uh, by by using these uh, uh, hollow wizard threads we are going to physically make it so open the sketch on the front plane the front plane and now just define and uh, define a single thread and then we are going to um, pattern it so just draw a line like that find the relation and dimension so for the relation i am going to select this point and this point these two points must have a relation of horizontal and i am going to draw a center line in here like that for the reference and now we define the positional uh, dimensions and the remaining dimensions so this line has the dimension of 0 0.040 okay and from this point to this point like that this dimension is also 0 0.040 this dimension is 0 0.05 okay and from center it has a dimension of angular dimension of 45 and this is also 45 and from from region to this top point to this top point it has the dimension of 0.398 okay and from region to this point it has the dimension of 0.308 
this point to this region okay from this point to this line we are also not able to add it so why it's not fully defined okay okay, okay. we added this dimension we added this dimension we added this dimension we don't need it to define this dimension so let's see it has this dimension is also defined we can move it like that This dimension must be coincident with this, this, uh, this edge. It's starting from these points. Um, no, hopefully we will define it. No, go to the. We want this point and this line. We want this line to have a pattern. So in this, uh, in this axis, we needed six, six of these. And they must have a point zero eight zero. So this point and uh, the the end point of this line and end point of this line must have a coincident relation like that. And again, go to this point, and we want to close it like that. So now it's fully defined. All the dimensions are defined here. So center line draw center line and then use the mirror identity so which identities we want to mirror we want to mirror all of these identities with the reference of this line so all the things which we selected in this side is mirror to the other side okay now we want it to evolve so we have to add a center line for it for the reference of revolve so draw a center line like that for the reference and use the revolve cut with the reference of this line so it's added the threads here <coughs> Next, we need to add the threads for this this uh, hole. So again, go to sketch, and we want to open the sketch in the right plane, like that. And the same way, we are going to we are going to define so line, draw a line like that. Go at this point. And we have a center line between them. So add the dimension. So for this one, this dimension is given as 0 0.033. And the angle between them is 45. And the this distance is 0 0.030. Okay. And Add the relation for this point and this point we want to have a relation of vertical. Okay. Now we want to we want to mirror mirror this intent, select this intensity, press the control and select this intensity, 
control press control select this identity and this identity these two lines and we want them to have the linear pattern so we don't want in the direction of x we want in the direction of y and for the reference we can select this line we can select this edge six needed and having the distance between them 0.06 what happened select these lines linear relation and uh, linear sketch pattern we don't want in the x direction we want it in the y direction we needed six point zero six in a mistake these identities to pattern we want this line and this line and for the direction one select this one we need it six we want it in that direction six check mark So we are having trouble here. Let's do it in another way. We can close this sketch at this point. Name this line, this line. Add a center line here, starting from the region. So this must be. This is coincident with this, this, this edge, like that. And now just define the other dimensions. So from this point to this point, this dimension is 0.278. Now we can exit it, use the revolve cut. We want to make a revolve cut around this edge. So, for this cut, we are going to use the linear pattern. So, we are going to linear pattern it. In this direction, we needed 6, having a distance of 0 0.06. Okay. So we created the thread line that way. So this is the first design, which is housing. You can add the uh, fillets and the chamfers for the for edges. So for this, So the housing is complete, housing was a time taking. Next, we are going to design the other component of the 
the <coughs> valve assembly so now we are going to design the bar so select the front plane draw midpoint line draw midpoint line like that go to the arc command digit arc this is the first point now go to this point like that and now we need to define the dimension so this dimension is given as 1.094 now use the revolve base boss and for the reference for the axis of revolution we are going to select this line so it will be revolve around this line and add a solid body so next open this sketch on the right plane the right plane select the circle draw the circle from the origin and this dimension is given as 0.598 and we are going to use the revolve cut to make this cut so sketch use the extruded cut and for the extruded cut we want it uh, through all on both directions so it will remove all the material like that For the next step, we are going to open the sketch on the top plane. In the top plane, we are going to draw two circles for it. Give the dimension for these two circles. So the outer circle is 0 0.313, and the inner circle. It's point two five zero. Now well, we are going to add some lines. So to achieve the final shape, so draw a line like that, and a line like that. For this line, I want to make it a construction line. Now use the offset command, select this line and add the y directional. We want an offset of this line on both direction with the reference of the original line. So this is 0.125 divided by 2. So it will add a offset of two lines like that. And then just uh, use the mirror identities, select this line, this line and mirror about with the reference of this construction line now we have to remove the unwanted areas of the sketch so this whole outer side we don't needed it we don't needed this one oh, sorry trim so this one this one like that so these lines turn Blue, we are going to define the dimension between them and from this point to this point it has having the half dimensions and again it's not fully defined trim want this line or vertical line so now it's fully defined so exit the sketch go to extruded cut and make a extruded cut through all through through all and we want it to go on the other side so that's it so the second component is completed which is ball this is the major component it's completed now we are going to design another component which is the ball valve bushing so this is bushing open the sketch on the front plane and we have we are going to draw a random sketch for it for this line and for this 
sketch we are going to use the revolver spool so we are just going to define a section of the sketch and draw a construction or center line from the origin or vertical line and now we select this line and this uh, reference line to add a diameter dimension of 6 line again this is 0.11 and from this point to this point this has the dimension of 0.43 and this has the dimension of 0.5 okay so this line and this point and this point and press the control select these two points and add a horizontal relation between them next we have to define the overall length of it so the overall length of it is 0.57 like that now go and revolve base balls so this is our base feature which is that thing in the base feature next we are going to make some threads on this on this machine so open the sketch on the front plane and now we are going to draw a sketch so for this sketch i am going to use this this uh, vertex and draw a line which is going up to that point and go that way okay now we are going to do same stuff like that so angle between them is 90 yes. this dimension is 0 0.06 okay. Zero point zero three from this point to these points, these two are having the vertical relation between them. We draw and this line and this line. 45 okay so next from this point to this point it has 5 no. We are going to use the sketch pattern. We want these entities, and in that direction, we want it. It having. 0 0.06 distance between them and one of them okay and from this point make these points points in
create this relation we don't want to make this uh, this point coincident with this octolet so i'm going to delete this this relation so now we can freely also delete this coincident relation so now we can we can use the trim we can trim this so can we move this yes we can okay so, so now we'll add a center line like that add a center line select smart dimension and we are going to dimension it so for this line and uh, select this uh, construction line this must have a dimension of 0.33 divided by 2 okay and now we define the dimension of this line is 0.08 In the view style okay so we want this edge coincident with this with this edge this one so select this edge this point and this edge this uh, point on that edge and add a coincident relation between them like that and just drag this one here if it does not make sense and this relation is 45 and this is 0 0.03 okay so what's left Can we fully define these two these blue edges? We have to find that what is missing. Why are these lines are blue? Why is that? We can also also use the fully defined sketch we want the solid work to make this sketch fully defined so there is issue with some So there is some type of mistake uh, uh, with the relation so that's why it's not uh, fully defining it I am leaving this uh, mistake but for you you must know that there is some extra relation which is not allowing us to fully define this sketch
Okay, there is a mistake uh, with the relations. So I am going to leave it as it for you. You must know there is a mistake. That's why it's not long as to fully define it. We have to delete some relation. So, but uh, as you can see, there is a lot of uh, relation. It will take time. But other than that, the design is good. The sketch is the way we want it. We don't want to cut it. We, by mistake, we use the cut command. We basically want it to use the and revolve to add the imperial here so this this is done next we are going to use the uh, use the chamfer slap this not edge we are going to slap this face and we want to add the 0.04 distance chamfer moving to the next step on the on this face we are going to draw a sketch draw a polygon like that like that we draw a polygon and then draw circle sorry not polygon draw a circle bigger than this this edge so for this Polygon slap this point and this origin and we want to have a relation of vertical And the other thing we want We want this We want this this edge and and this line and this edge having a relation of coincident and for this circle just add a random dimension, but it must be bigger than this uh, polygon Like that. Exit the sketch. Sketch and use the extruded cut. And for this cut, we are going to select up to surface. Up to surface, and we want to select this surface. Not this surface, this surface. It is also another mistake. Okay. So we don't need it, this circle, just delete this circle. Okay, so now try to use the extruded cut. We want up to the surface, up to this surface. Now it is a this having a mistake. With this tangent relation, select this line, this edge, and this line, and now add a tangent relation between them.
इस को घट ये लाइक दैट सो वो तो स्केच जस्ट डिफाइन अ रैंडम डिमेंशन फॉर दिस सो दिस दिस एज इज कंसिडर्ड विद दिस दिस लाइन इज कंसिडर्ड विद दिस दिस एज ऑफ द सर्कल नॉट द आउटर वन दिस वन ओके लाइक दैट so next we can add the chamfer this face okay we are going to edit this sketch so this design is complete we are going to save it and we are going to design the next model which is the shaft of the wall shaft of the wall okay so open the sketch on the front plane and we are going to draw uh, draw some lines a random sketch and then we add the dimensions so for this sketch i am going to start from this point draw a vertical line horizontal line like that like that now we are going to define the dimensions so this overall dimension is 1.7 and the dimension for this one is 0.46 next dimension from this point to this point this dimension is 1.01 from this point to this point this dimension is 1.05 okay and from this point to this point this dimension is 1.24 and from this point to this point this dimension is 1.39 okay so now we are going to define this dimension 0.16 we are going to define this dimension is 0.15 okay now let's see which dimensions are left so this dimension and this dimension it's point one nine and we want like that and from this one this dimension this dimension and this dimension these two dimensions are same so select these two points add a vertical relation between them so it's added and from this point to this this dimension is 1.24 okay From this line to this line, this dimension is point two four, like that. Now we using the revolve command. We are going to revolve it around this edge. Check mark. Next, we are going to open the sketch on the bottom face and make a sketch. So select this face and open the sketch on this face. Face no convert identities. Select this edge and. Use the convert identities, draw an other circle like that, and keep the dimension 
this dimension is 0.25 now we draw two lines like that and draw another line like that this line we are going to make it horizontal trim indentities trim this line this line this line and we are going to trim these arms now just define the dimensions so to make distance between these two lines is 0.125 and to make it symmetry we add a half distance 0.125 divided by 2 okay and use the trim we want to trim this portion and this portion so this will be the our sketch exit the sketch and use the extruded cut and we are going to use the extruded cut for the direction we are going to select it blind and for the depth it's 0.25 and make sure you select the correct direction exit the sketch and this will be have next we have to add a cut so for that cut i am going to open the sketch on this face so select this face open the sketch on this face use the convert indentities select this edge convert it and then draw a circles so for this circle we have to define the any dimension we can add the dimension or we can add a thickness dimension between them so press the shift select this and this edge and this must have a 0 0.02 like that exit this sketch and we are going to use the extrude cut and for this extrusion we are going to define the distance of 0 0.02 on the other direction and then we select this extrude to cut and use the linear pattern so i'm going to pattern it for the distance of 0 0.040 total number of cuts 11 is asking about the direction so we want in in that direction in the horizontal direction so we added some type of threads here and for the next for the next point we are going to make it isometric open the sketch on the top and draw so this this edge convert indentities make it normal to us and then we define draw two lines make sure you draw a vertical line and gain a vertical line so define the distance between these two lines distance between these two lines we have to define it so it's 0 0.180 and distance to add this symmetry 0.18 divided by 2 now we are going to use the trim indentities i am going to trim this these lines and this arc and this arc so we will have the sketch like that now use the extruded cut and we have to select the surface at which surface we want to make the cut at this surface so we achieve that so this shaft design is complete save it and move to the next design so in this uh, next design we are going to uh, design the handle i am going to save it handle 
handle i am going to give the name handle and now we have to open the sketch on the front plane i am going to draw a sketch so draw some lines like that now we are going to define the dimensions so this dimension is 3.33 so from origin to this this dimension is 1.43 okay and from this origin to this point this dimension is 0.5 from this point to this point, this dimension is 0.53 and this dimension is 0.55 from region to this line, this dimension is 0.84 so we have the sketch in that form exit the sketch and for this, uh, this uh, sketch we are going to use the sheet metal so go to the sheet metal tab and use the base flange and now we have to define some and the direction one we are going to use the mid plane and for the depth we are going to put 0 0.627 0 0.627 and sheet metal parameters go to the uh, leave this dimension has it 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 is sheet metal parameters for the sheet metal parameters we are going to define 0.0, .0 nine nine zero point zero zero point zero nine nine and select the reverse direction like that and for this the bed depth we are going to put it zero point one four eight five it will define the bends here 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 we we are having the pants okay leave the other dimension as it is we don't need it to change it okay so now we achieve this handle it is something which is uh, you can look it is a uh, handle now we needed to uh, make a cut here on this surface so open the sketch on this surface and we are going to draw a uh, rectangle a mid rectangle like that then i'm going to draw a circle like that and now define some dimensions so for this circle we have the diameter of 0.13 we have the diameter of 0 0.13 0 0.31 and from this point to this point we have the 0 0.2 and from the center to will use the trim identities we don't need it this portion and we don't need it this portion and this this stuff we don't need it okay We want it here coincident. Okay, just use the extrude cut and we want it through all. It's done. Now move to the next point. 
next we are going to use the fillet to add the rounds for this corner and not the face this corner so this is 0.3 it will make the this bar a circular next we are going to open the sketch on this face go to sketch open the sketch on this face and draw a sketch so this sketch will be like that auto drag this point like that auto drag this point and we are going to draw a center line from this region like that okay now define some dimensions so from this point to this point this dimension is given as 0.15 and for the next dimension this dimension it's 0.18 okay and this dimension is 0.28 so now we'll just add some some symmetries between them so to add the symmetry relation press the control uh, i am going to select uh, this line this line and then i'm going to select this uh, reference line so it will ask us uh, which relation you want to add so we want to add the symmetry relation between them okay next select this point and this point and add a relation of vertical between these two points so these two points are um, are facing each other next from this line to this line this dimension is 0.15 this is just a referral uh, dimension from this point to this edge we add 0 0.08 okay So we want this line a uh, horizontal line and for this point and this point we want them a vertical line but on the vertical line. So now the sketch is fully defined. Exit the sketch and we use the extruded cut. So just like that. So next step, we are going to make a hole on this surface. Sketch, open the sketch on this surface and we are going to draw a center line. So um, uh, we needed to draw the center line on the mid of this edge. So move your mouse on this edge. This center point will be where and again move to this point and it will show you the midpoint. And then add a circle and for this circle we want to add it on the mid of this line so move your mouse on this uh, construction line or center line and it will give you the location of the midpoint so like that and this dimension is 0 0.3 we want to make a cut extruded cut and this cut is passing all the way okay now just define some chamfers chamfer and the distance is 0 0.01 we select this far edge and this this bottom edge Careful all around the model. Okay. Exit it. Now the design of the handle is complete.
so save it now we move to the next design which is the grip of this this handle a plastic grip so save this model with the name of grip and for the grip we are going to draw the catch on the front plane select the midpoint rectangle find the dimension 0.77 and then 0.33 and we are going to use the extrude command and we are going to extrude it to 3.1 3.1 on the other direction okay next we are going to use the fillet 0.33 0 0.385 five, two five. select this edge and this edge and it will add a fillet and make this this sharp corner a round corner next we are going to use the fillet again and this time we are going to put the radius point one one five. select this edge and this edge 0.115 select these two like that and now we use the shell command to hollow this one and for the shell we are going to put the thickness 0 0.0655 and select this face this face will be open and the material will be removed now move to the next step we are going to open the sketch on the front top right plane and we are going to draw draw some lines from this this point on the edge and just needed to define one dimension this dimension is 0 0.10 and extrude cut on the both side through all both side so all the material will be removed and now this design is done we are going to save it exit it you can also define the materials if you want but i am going to do it later now for the next design we are going to make a lock or we can say locker for the safety purpose so open the sketch on the front plane and we are going to draw a rectangle like that and needed to define the dimensions so from this point to this point this dimension is 0 0.81 and from this point to this point this dimension is 0 0.28 now we need to make it in the middle or the at the symmetry so we just put the half dimensions okay next use the um, fillet to make the sharp edges or corners in our round 0.08 exit this sketch so this sketch is complete again for this design we are going to use the sheet metal so use first feature base flange and for this one we have to define for the direction for the directions sheet metal parameters have to make this design okay. okay to use the base feature the sketch must be open so let me define 
So the line here, and I'm going to use the trim, trim and trim it. Next, I am going to draw line like that. So for the base feature, we need it up in sketch. So I'm going to put the dimension between this and this zero like that it will make the sketch open and use the base But the direction one. We can do it in like that, just draw center line between them. Now we use the base flange and the parameter for the base flange. So this one is um, for the blind we are going to select the mid plane and this one 0 0.445 the sheet metal parameters sheet metal parameters this is 0 0.066 and 0 0.099 Now we use this base flange and we are going to use the mirror okay so we not we cannot mirror it okay show the sketch we open the sketch on the front plane and we want to we convert it that is select these edges and we want to mirror these sketch with the reference of a center line we also need to define a center line so what it meant this no mirror select all the lines 
and mirror about this edge okay and now this sketch we needed it for the construction for the construction Now we'll see we can use the flange, yes, we can use it and we'll define the dimensions 0.445 from the mid. Like that. this sketch okay so now this feature is done next we open the sketch on this face and we draw a rectangle like that so this this point is coincident on this edge and this point is coincident on this edge next define the dimensions 0.64 Shoot it so we want this extrusion 0.227 next move to the sheet metal properties sheet metal tab and we are using the edge flange so for this edge flange we are going to select this edge we are going to select this edge and we are going to define the parameters so leave this parameter as it leave the angle for the angle we are going to define 45 and direction blind this is correct and this distance point four five. So for this dimension we have to put 0 0.252 okay like that so next we are going to unfold it and we are going to unfold it and make a cut so here you can see the unfold the fixed face and the bends toward fold this bend Okay, it's now straightened up. Now we can select uh, this surface to draw a sketch. So for this sketch, we are going to use a corner rectangle. Uh, so this edge is the first point, and here we are going to define the dimensions. So this overall is 0.33, and the, this dimension is 0.25. So it must be in the mid. So add a half of 0.33 like that. Use the cut and make a through all cut. Okay. Next we are going to define some fillets. About so this first fillet, we are going to define 0.25. We are going to select this edge and we are going to select this edge. And next, again, we are going to define an uh, other fillet, and this is 0 0.02. And for this edge, and for this edge, check mark. And now, this design is complete. We are going to use the sheet metal and 
is the fold. Okay, like that. So now this design is complete. Save it. Now we are going to move to the next design. And for this design, we just needed some fasteners and uh, washers and nuts. So we can fix this one. So first one is washer. Save it. Washer. And the top plane. Draw two circles. Give the dimension for these two circles. This diameter is 0.48 and this diameter is 0.33. Exit it and extrude this sketch. So it's 0.068. Now open this sketch on this surface and we just have to define a cut here. Just a cut here like that. Fully define if we just put these random dimensions. Go on. So this is done. Now we are going to move to the next component and we are going to design a seal. Exit it. Open the sketch. And for this sketch we are going to use the front plane and select a rectangle like that. So dimension from here to here we have 0.31 divided by 2 on this dimension we have to draw a center line from this point like that and then define the dimensions so this dimension we have 0.1 and dimension from the outer line and this construction line 0 0.50 the full dimension the diameter dimension and from this line and this line this dimension uh, diameter dimension is 0 0.31 and now we add a relation press the control on keyboard select these two points and add a horizontal relation between them and just revolve and we have the C. Okay. Now we have one component which is not. We have to make that. On the sketch of the front plane and we are going to draw a circle like that and the dimension of the circle is zero point three one and then we are going to define a polygon like that so this side is having a relation of vertical and the distance between these two lines is given as 0.49. Okay, exit the sketch and extrude it. So, for this extrusion, we are going to find 0.164 from the mid plane, like that. Next next we are going to make a cut and we are going to select the sketch like that 
using the relation select this edge and this circle and add a tangent relation between them so it will fully define it exit the sketch and select the extruded cut and we want to make the flip side cut add art in the layer like that so this is the nut use the chambers of this edge and this edge 0 0.0 to 1 so the design of the nut is completely no, at this point we completed all the uh, models now we have to make the assembly so select new part and for this one we are going to add the assembly so select assembly click ok so solidworks is asking us which component you want to put first so for the concept of the assembly we are going to select the insert component uh, select the insert component and for this one first component will be this housing first we are going to add the housing and then we are going to keep adding the rest of the component so select housing add it and place it in the display window and now solidworks is asking which other component we want to add one by one we are going to add it so the other component we are going to select the ball and we are going to place it here and for the select the mate and for this mate i am going to select this surface and this circular surface and it is ending tangent relation between them by what we want a concentric relation between them not select this phase and this phase and now add a concentric relation between them so now it's concentric it's in the middle it's rotating but it's in the middle and next we have to select this surface the surface which has the place for this one and this so it will add a concentric relation between them so we have this channel is open here so you can see it's moving if we are going to close this wall this position will be like that like that that position now we have to define the other component so we select the component and for this component and we are going to put we are going to put the seal like that so seal is placed here so select mate this face and this face it must have a centric relation and we want this upper surface and this bottom surface having a relation of tangent so this uh, ceiling lies on the face of the top of this bar okay next we are going to select the 
wishing uh, we are going to put the shop place shop like that add a mate so this must be concentric with this face just drag it in, in upper direction and this must hit with these these edges so this edge slap this one and the edge on this side so if you move it the ball will also move it now we need it to fix uh, this end so at this point we just uh, leave it leave it like that we will add the positions for it next we are going to add the bushing so bushing will be placed here select the mate select this inner circular face and this face and we have to define our position for this mate so select We have to select this this face of the housing and we have to select this top of the housing and we have to put a dimension of 0 0.184 between them so it will be fixed like that. So this this is fixed. Next we just add uh, another position dimension. To make it fix, select this face and this face and add a parallel between them. So now we are not able to move this bushing. Okay. Next, the position dimension between this shaft and between this bushing. So select the mate component, mate, and the top of this surface and the top of the shaft and these have the distance of 0.105 so it will be like that like that next we have to put a like that next component we are going to put the handle so place the handle here like that and we have to select the mate component select this and this face and select the other side of it this side coincident with this side okay centric between this circle let's see which made no 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 okay let's remove it remove this remove this parallel also this parallel let's see first expand this handle and see where is the here we have the right plane at the mate between the right plane of the handle and between the for the housing 
the right plane of the housing so it will be in the middle next select this surface and this top surface so now its position is defined and now check the relevant dimensions no 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 there is a mistake we have to delete this coincident relation we have to define the position dimension between the handle the right plane of handle and the front plane the right plane of the shaft you know its position is also defined it can move up and down Now the, these two components have a relevant dimensions. It is coincident with this surface. So, like that. That position, it's open. That this this feature it is playing the role of stopper and this feature it is playing the role of the stopper so now you can see flow is allowed so now the wall is open and if you move here and this surface is coincident will coincide with this dimension and this feature it play the role of the stopper and it is closed the wall is closed and let me keep it in that way Okay. Next, which component is left? We have to put a washer like that. Select the mate, this surface and this circular surface, and have a relation of concentric. We want this face coincident with this top of the. Okay. Now next. Add the mud made select this surface circular surface this circle surface having the relation of concentric and add a positional dimension so this surface and this surface are coincident now what thing is left the locker is left okay so the lock is for the safety and the grip is also left so select the grip place grip here at the mate and for this mate we go to the advanced and select the width so for the width selection we select with this surface and this surface so for the other component we select this surface and this surface so basically we are telling solivers to add the add the and uh, the component must be between of these two selection so it is this component or for this component so it's in the middle of this surface okay exit it and check mark again uh, advance width which left this top surface and the top surface for the first component for the second component top surface top surface so it will add a width between them okay now i want to move it like that and just define dimension so from this point to this point standard from this point to this point this So from this point to this point, they have the distance of 0 0.05. Now it's not defining it. So just find the plane. So made and the grip. Open the grip from the front plane to the front plane of the 
handle this is just for the position so this must be have the position of left 3 1 no 1.25 no 1.5 no 2 1.9 so I think at this position it is good it's in the middle let's move little bit 1.85 yeah it's good now okay now what is left only one component which is the locker or safety component which we are going to define so basically this component is just for the safety if you open the valve and you just uh, lock it at this place so without uh, um, sliding this component you are not able to move this handle so add the mate so again for the mate we are going to use the width select this width and this width select this and this top and it will have a width between them again select the advance and width between this surface and between this surface between this surface and this surface so now you can glide it like that its size is very large I wired this component so this base flange base flange this flange yeah. yes we want to change it no it size make sense so what is the rule of this locker let me explain you some concept so as you know now we are at this position we are able to we are able to the flow will be allowed it we can make the flow of the fluid at this position okay so if you put the no locker is here if you move it here at this position uh, now you can see for a physical for a physical design if if these two two tabs or uh, this feature is between these two tabs no you are not able to move it the physical object it will drop it we can also check the Fluent detection. So now you can see it's having the fluent at here. So it's having the fluent here. So for the physical object, and if you want to use it, you have to move it like that. And then you are able to use it. Okay, so now the design is complete. You can add the materials. For example, this material of this component will be steel. The material of this component, this grip will be a plastic material. So this is just for the safety purpose. You have to uh, apply the pressure on this handle. So this component must be in, in for a flexible or you can say a plastic or rubber material so it gives the comfort when you are going to use this handle because you have to uh, apply load or uh, pressure on it to use it thank you so much for uh, watching this video 
this tutorial if you learn something new by by watching and step by step following this tutorial then please comment it and if you want if you have any suggestion or if there is any mistake please let me know so i can change it for the other students so thank you so much uh, i explain it in a very good way it's my uh, thinking but if there is anything which is not uh, defined or left you can also comment it and please try uh, please uh, subscribe my channel so i can make more videos like that Thank you.